where did we leave off, 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 off? We were on some times in our lives, right? Lean on me. So with that, we've been learning three scales and learning how to use them. Yeah. So let me go ahead and get this on. So we're going to finish up this song. We're pretty much almost practically done. This is just to see how scales can create um, our melodies. All right. That's what this is about. Um, it's actually a great lesson to see how scales intersect and they create melodies. Okay. So you don't necessarily have to always add chords. All right. So I'm going to throw up a scale chart that I just created quickly with just a reminder of all of our scales. Okay. Now we have all the scales that we used, which is the first one, right? Okay. And this is using finger one and finger two right swinging to position two we have these all right and then we have this which is on the e and the c string okay finger one finger two and then finger two and finger three all right i want you guys to memorize these scales so that you see the development of the song okay now this is the open scale that we've done Now I added it all the way up. Okay, and then we're just gonna go backwards. Now, right here, this is an open C scale, all right? So this is standard. We're gonna run through this today, all right? Okay. So being able to see how these scales apply in a song is actually a very good way for you guys to start memorizing scales yeah you guys um are pretty awesome so far you guys are playing it you guys got it going on so now the more we see it the more we see it's being repeated you know it makes it much more relevant you guys will never forget these scales all right so what i am going to do is i'm going to create uh, a nice little melody all right and then what you guys are going to have to do is you guys are going to have to use the scale and you guys are going to start learning how to freestyle all right so basically you're just going to do the scale in any order there's no right or wrong okay and part of learning is being willing to just do uh, anything now these are the scales that we're using to create the melody Now, for this one right here, okay, for this newest one, I'm not too sure if I showed it to you, so that's why I'm kind of calling it new. But this is a very standard open one, okay? So now, if you guys are noticing the numbers, yeah, anytime you have numbers on this side of the frets, that just means open string, okay? Now, the number is simply the sequence. Now, over here, I left them as zeros just to represent open. Why? Because majority of the movement is here moving forward. The only time you're going to use these two zeros is when you're going backwards. So it's going to be nine, eight, seven, six, five, open, four, three, open, two, one, open. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit different. Now, what that does is it opens a little bit more of a dynamic when it comes to the use of the scale. Yeah, that open sound really has this nice um, addition to it. All right. So it's not straight. It has this nice twang to it. It feels great. Okay, zero, one to two, slide, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine so if you notice i did not do any open strings on my way higher up the fret now when i go backwards nine eight seven 
five, three, open, four, three, open, four, two, open. Okay, so it just broadens its sound, all right? Now, this is my go-to scale right here, all right? This is the pattern that I use in practically all of my freestyling. From ukulele to guitar, this is the longest running, the most versatile and repetitive scale on the instruments, okay? Now, this one, it's open. Second fret C string, that's number one. Okay, number two is open E string. Very good. One is three. Third fret is number four. A string open is number five in sequence. Second fret A string, six. And third fret, seven. All right, now you're just gonna go backwards exactly in that sequence. Six, a seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, open. Okay, very good. Memorize them, okay? Like these scales literally, like when you learn this type of stuff, you're gonna find that whenever you're trying to figure out a song, all right, you're gonna be able to use these songs, these scales. So if you're listening to a melody, right, and you're going to try and match the pitch. And then let's just say it lands here on the C, right? Then you have this scale to figure out if it matches. Okay, this literally is the foundation to everything. All right, when it comes to melodies and sounds. Yeah, and you don't have to have a great ear. You just have to understand these scales, right? You know, later on, we'll get into transposing these scales. Okay, they're very simple. All right, but this is the foundation to a lot of the instrumentals that I teach. Okay, all right, here we go. Let's go and review. I'm going to take the scale, the scale off so you guys can see my hands better. All right, and we're just going to review. Um, lean on me when you're not strong. Oh, if I was a country singer, that'd be so cool. Here we go. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, four, five. Go back. Bum, 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 bum. Go up. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, we stopped right there. Now the next one, we're changing scale. All right. Okay, so let's do that one slowly, sliding from two to four. Three to five. Three to five. Back to three. And then do the line again. One. Bum, 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 bum. All right, so when we go down, first time is the same. And then we go back to seven, yes? Five, three, and we change our scale again. All right, and that is C and E, fifth fret, back to one. Okay, so starting from seven, we'll walk it backwards. One, two, ready, and seven, five, one, fifth fret, C and E, and third and fourth. Perfect. Okay, you guys good? Take a minute, practice that part, review it again, okay? There's no rush. Now, in the process of us doing this, it may seem slow in coming. You guys are gonna notice, you guys' fingers are gonna start becoming more agile. You guys are gonna start noticing they become much more um, uh, precise, 
All right. You're going to start noticing your fingers are going to land where they need to be. All right. So this is a good practice. All right. Plus, you guys are getting melodies and scales. All right. So this is actually a pretty intense lesson, but we're simplifying it as much as can. All right. It's a great way to learn scales. Fantastic way. Okay, and I'll play it in the background while you guys are going for it. One, two, ready, and boom. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Long line. Bum, da, bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Seven. All right, now that last note, if you don't like the lower mellow one, all you need to do is go back to the original start C. All right, so that is 3A, okay, with the index. So you're just dropping that down one. Okay, that's all you got to do if you don't like this last note, but I kind of like it. Okay. We're going to learn that part next, okay? And it's going to be a pretty cool version because this one we're going to use the bar C, all right? I want you guys to recognize what a bar C and this scale looks like together. All right, okay, let's play this one more time together and then we're going to move on, all right? Well, if you guys give me the thumbs up, we're going to move on, all right? We're going to move, make sure everybody's uh, together. Take your time with it, okay? Do your best. There's no rush. Here we go from the beginning, doing it slow. One, two, ready, and boom, bum, 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 back, bum, 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 up, bum, 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 bum. Okay, get ready for the slide. Ready, go. Boom, boom. Okay, good. There you go. And I seen that. That was good. You did it. You did it. Okay. Long walk. Here we go. Ready and bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Seven. Five. Three. Change. Very good. Okay. Are we ready to move on? Give me the thumbs up. If not, we'll take a couple more minutes. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, all right. Okay, here we go. Now here, we're gonna take our barred C, all right? So you're gonna do this, all right? E and A string third fret, all right? And then middle finger C string fourth fret, all right? Now you're gonna just strum from the C to the A. Okay, with your thumb. Three times. One, two, three. All right, now notice I'm not strumming my G, okay? So I'm just staying from the C, E, and A. Okay? One, two, three. Now we're going to slide over, okay, to that second scale that we did. Fifth fret, C string, and E string. Okay. And then we go back to our barred C. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. 
okay? It has a little bit of a groove, a bit of a funk to it, you know what I mean? Okay, get used to that feeling. Now, if you are able to use multiple fingers, um, you can really challenge yourself by using thumb on C, index on E, and middle finger on A. And just pluck them all together. Okay, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can try that. Challenge yourself. Okay, one, two, three, fifth fret, back to C. All right. Okay, so the other thing too now, remember now, whenever we're looking at these chord charts, right, if it's directly in front of us like a piece of paper, our ukulele will be lined up upside down. Okay, so if we're looking at our paper like that, then... Our chart is going to read upside down. Okay? So don't forget that part, okay? Whenever we read this type of chart. Okay? So one way I like to do it is I like to put the paper down flat and put my ukulele right in front of it. So that way I can kind of position right over it, you know? And so it gives a good reference point. Okay? So all we're going to do is learn the main components of this song. All right? As far as order, pretty self-explanatory. Music is patterns, right? It repeats itself. So we can listen to the music and put the patterns that we've learned or the sequence of verses and whatever's in order. Yeah, in the proper sequence. All right, okay, let's try this again from the very beginning. Okay, we'll take it slow and we'll do it together. <laughs> okay, here we go. Starting at C, one, two, ready, and boom. Bum, bum, bum. Going backwards, bum 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 bum, bum 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 bum. Getting ready to do the slide. Ready, go. Very good. Okay, let's do that line again. One, two, ready, game. Bum 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 bum, bum 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 bum. Seven, bum, 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 bum. All right, now let's move into our barred C, okay? Three times, and then we're gonna do C, E, back to barred C. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, barred C, back. Okay, so one, two, three, and then C and E. Okay, that's scale number two here on fifth fret, back to bar C. Okay, try it again. One, two, so that move is kind of weird, yeah? So just watch my fingers. Okay, check this out real quick. So one, two, three, one, one, all right? So we're teaching our fingers to move, yeah? Now, once we get into like strumming songs, like doing basic stuff, like this, the basic stuff is gonna be so easy for you guys because now in this song alone, you guys have had so much areas to test your fingers, all right? So you're starting from your barred C, yeah, so you guys are putting your fingers through some pretty big shocks right now and your brain, okay, which is good. One continuous motion, okay. Now, if it feels weird in the beginning, like I said, just do it over and over. Just practice that motion. You guys will get it, all right. So just make sure we're thinking positive, and if we get frustrated, put your ukulele down, take a break. Okay, ukulele is supposed to be relaxing. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, and one. Bum, 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 bum. Back. 
Bum 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 up. Bum 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 bum. Okay, here's the slide. Let's do this one slower. One, two, ready, and. Okay, next line go. Bum 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 bum. Back bum 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 seven. Bum bum bum. Okay, bar C ready and one, two, three. Now the next one, let's get started on this next beat. Okay. You're gonna bar C, you're gonna strum. Pick A and then E string. E5. Back to A. Okay, and don't worry now, you know, always go back to the video, watch the videos and practice with the videos, okay? So, so we started here at the bar, right? One, two, change, back to one. Okay, now strum. There you go, C, E, and A. Okay, so you're only going to strum from the C, E, and A, all right, so strum, one, two, A string, E5, back to A, okay, take a minute, bum, 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 bum. Oh. Bum, 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 bum. okay, now, if your thumb starts hurting too, once you're doing that, because you're holding the bar longer and picking, don't forget to release your hand, all right? Don't let it get to the point where it hurts, all right? Okay. All right, guys. Okay, let's try this again from the very beginning. Okay. <clears throat> and then we will be done. Here we go. One, two, ready, and. Good. Okay, get ready to slide. Ready, and. Next line, go. Seven. Okay, now we're moving into bar C, ready and. I'll leave that in there for next week all right all we did is we use that slide in there okay okay so you guys can go ahead and fool around with that other than that guys that's it for today we are almost done with this song and this is a very slow introduction into uh a song and how scales create these songs all right now when we use these types of things you literally can figure out any song create your own style of instrumental all right so this is what i do to teach my people you know whether they're young and old i find it to be the most easiest way that i can give them some form of um standard meaning drawing it out on on paper you know showing them the scales and what it looks like and teaching them how it creates the melodies that we want to hear in a song okay bottom net you guys are the bomb all righty you guys did fantastic but other than that is this lesson okay was it good for you guys 
Yeah? Okay, very good. It can be difficult, but take your time with it, all right? It's going to make you guys um, really good musicians and players long term. All righty? All right, guys. God bless you guys. Ahoy ho. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Aloha. Right.